all right fam we are back out here it is day 27 for the 30 day challenge on how to improve your relationship i am your girl marshawn olanio and i'm your life and relationship strategist i help men and women to uh, to create the relationship that they want need and desire okay so today is day 27 y'all we have a few more days left and i thought that it was very important for us to start talking about how you should set boundaries within your relationship Yes, setting boundaries within your relationship so your partner knows exactly who you are, knows exactly what you need, and knows exactly what you want. Establishing boundaries allows our partners to feel comfortable with us, to understand us better. It also helps to develop positive self-esteem on both ends. So you want to continue to set those healthy boundaries within your relationship. It also helps us to um, not focus solely on others' needs or even our partner's needs, our spouse's needs, our children's needs. And we're not always um, feeling like we need to adjust to someone else and what someone else needs. That we are able to say what we need as well so we also feel heard and respected and honored and just important within the relationship it also um helps us to say you know what i need to think about what's actually happening right now and why do i feel like i need to set a healthy boundary see i actually had to do this myself in my own relationship because there are times that i just want to do um, what what I need and, and what I feel I need within that moment. And so I have to express these things to my husband so I'm not coming off as, oh, where I'm basically about to bite his head off. <laughs> because I, yes, me, did not say what I wanted or even did, did not say what I needed in that time. So because I didn't, this is where the issue came into play, right? It's also helping me tell others, how I want to be treated, which is very important because people treat you the way that you allow them to treat you. It does not matter what's coming out of here. If that does not match up to the way you are allowing that person, including your spouse to treat you, then you will be treated the way that they feel that you need to be treated. So you want to continue to establish healthy boundaries within your relationship. So you're not feeling like, Ah, oh, boy, like you're like you're feeling like you cannot express yourself and also where because you want to feel comfortable within your relationship, you want to make sure that you are saying what you need. It actually um, setting boundaries helps us to understand that I don't have to feel like I'm being spread too thin. Yes. So you're not being spread too thin if you just speak up and say what you need to say. Because a lot of times we are giving, 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 giving to everyone around us. And it's like, you know what, sometimes you need to be given back to. So with that, that is your healthy boundary that you are establishing within your relationship. So your spouse, so your wife, so your husband, fiance can understand what you need and when you say this to him or to her they're not feeling some type of way because you decided to speak up and say what what it is that you needed in that moment also when you are setting and establishing healthy boundaries this makes you not feel like somebody else's doormat so you're going 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 but you don't want to feel like a doormat just because you're giving 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 because again, we are, we are teaching people how to treat us. So if you're always doing, if you're always giving to everyone but yourself, you will start to feel like a doormat at some point. You will start to feel like you have being spread too thin. And so you don't want to do any of this stuff because... All, literally all of our needs, all of our wants, they are all important and they do deserve to be respected and honored, especially by the ones that love us the most, our spouses, our partners, and including your children. Because sometimes we, we'll, we'll establish the boundary with our spouse and then when it comes to the kids, because we feel that we must give, 
that we must do, that we must be there everything. We just give, 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 and give, and then we're exhausted. And I get it. There is a time and place for that. There's a time and place for that because it, depending on the age of the child, you know, some children need more attention and more, um, they just need more depending on the stage that they're in. Basically like an infant up to about three. You're pretty much doing everything. So I get that. But at some point you have to start letting them do more and more of their own so you can start taking back control of you and who you are, where you want to go. A goal maybe that you need to start working back out on. Hey, George, I see you. So, yes, establish healthy boundaries in your relationship. Now, understand that this does take time to do. This is a skill set that you are building upon. So it's going to take some time, especially if this is um, new to you. If setting boundaries is new to you, this is going to take some time for you to do. But you can surely do it one day at a time one small thing at a time that you can put into place so your relationship is going much it's 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 just flowing it's flowing much easier but again this is a skill set that you have to work on so it is going to take time to do so one of the things that you must know is you have to know where the boundaries excuse me my nose is itching <laughs> you have to know where the boundaries need to be created Yes, think about where you want to create and establish your boundary and then create and establish that. This also, which is number two, it helps you to clarify uh, uh, for yourself first before you tell your spouse what it is that you need. So it's going to help you clarify what you need out of the relationship when you're um, knowing where the boundaries need to be created. And then finally, you have to take responsibility for your needs. It is not our spouse's responsibility to just know what our needs are. We have to be able to speak these things out loud. Don't keep it up in your head. Don't keep it up here where you start to get resentful and you ticked off. Can't really speak your mind because each and every time you even think about it, you get ticked off. Think about how to establish healthy boundaries within your relationship. I'm telling you, this is going to be something that will make your relationship so much smoother. All of the unnecessary drama that could come with not establishing your boundaries can be so much better if you just speak up and say what you need. All right, fam, that is it for today. So create Think about the areas that need that the boundaries need to be created in. Number two is going to clarify the area and, and, and what you need to clarify first before you go and share it with your spouse. And then number three is going to help you take responsibility for your own needs. So start to establish those boundaries. And if maybe you did it before, maybe you need to recommit to establishing those boundaries or reinforcing those boundaries, then do that. All right, so I will see you guys in a future video, um, actually in tomorrow's video, not even just future, tomorrow's video for day 28 of how to improve your relationship over 30 days so you can improve it by 3x. I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful holiday. Deuces.